high level users if you're an agency owner or if you're new to high level then this is the video for you because in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can go ahead and get your first SaaS customer without spending any money on ad spend in this video we're going to cover things like contact marketing social media marketing email marketing and we're also going to cover how you can use networks as well now this is going to be part of a four-part series because the reason why i got to make this a four-part series is because i was looking at the data looking at the analytics and i'm like listen tiktok is making people's brains go cuckoo so because of that i'm gonna have to you know break the video apart into short form content that you can digest and it just goes into the nitty gritty parts of it now then again if it's your first time coming to the channel do me a favor and sub if you're a high level user a SaaS agency owner or if you are an insurance agent or you've been an agency owner sub to the channel because in this channel i talk about marketing and i can talk about tech as to how it can help your business let's go and dive into it so in this, we're going to use a Google Docs document, okay? So basically, the few things we're going to talk about is what is Go High Level, right? What is Go High Level? Now, I found about Go High Level from ClickFunnels. I see ClickFunnels. Listen, I was a big ClickFunnels user. I use ClickFunnels to build my funnels um, and, you know, make good money from using ClickFunnels. But then I needed more, right? I needed more. I needed a way in which I can actually build an actual business and that's where high level came in so high level what is high level high level is basically think about it as a as a next level version of i don't even know what to describe it but it is a way in which you can go from being you to go from being a regular person regular joe schmo to actually having your agency your software company right so what does high level do high level comes with it features that such as funnel builders it comes with features such as email marketing I'm going to talk about those features in this video. I don't want to get carried away, but high level is basically what you need right now. And if you're second guessing, saying, you know, is high level really for me? You know, should I just stay at my nine to five job? Then this is the video for you because I'm going to cover should you or should you not actually continue with high level. Okay, so that's basically it. Second thing we're going to talk about is what is the purpose of this video, right? This video is because listen, I get a lot of people that email me. They say, hey, Emmanuel, um, you know. How do I get my first customer? I've had some technical questions like you know, connect to Zapier and a bunch of other stuff, but it's like, how do I get my first customer? Like I need customers and how do I get my first customer? So I'm gonna tell you in this video how you can create your first, your SaaS customer for your high level. And then also we're gonna cover the strategies here. Part one of this, strategy one, we're gonna cover content marketing. Okay, we're gonna talk about content marketing. The importance of content marketing, should you use a content marketing and how can you be managing content for your business, okay? So, but this, let's talk about it first, is the concept of content marketing, what is it, right? We live in a attention-based economy. Back in the day, it used to be, you know, whoever was you know, the most famous, you know, all media was centralized and controlled into one simple um, um, channel. Like, for instance, you people wanted to go to the news station. You could start your own radio station. Now it's to the point in which anybody can create a YouTube channel, anybody can become famous, anybody can do their own thing. So the importance of creating content is very important. Now, you're probably asking yourself this question, such as, hey, Emmanuel, I am not a, you know, I'm somebody who likes, uh, who's not a, uh, let's see, let's see, so much better, let me find my Chrome extension really quickly. Um, you're probably going on your end and you're like, hey, Emmanuel, I'm not a, uh, um, you know, I'm not a, 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 a a video person I can't do videos you know you're probably thinking no one wants to see your face you know there's so many things that's probably going in your in your head right now about you know you and your perception of yourself right but what I want to go and talk, cover here is there's different areas in which you can produce content you can produce written content let's get this close to me you can produce written content okay then you can also go ahead and say, you know what, I don't want to do written content, you know, I want to go ahead and produce video. If for those of you who are confident in video, you can produce video content. Or you can say, you know what, I want to do a podcast. I want to go ahead and do an audio content. But it is very important for you to be creating content because guess what? It is a slow process to build it. But like for instance, whenever I buy from a company, the first thing I do is I go, especially if it's a tech company, I go on YouTube. Do they have tutorials? You cannot be a SaaS agency owner without tutorials. Now, if you're new to go high level and you're like, well, I don't have tutorials, then start creating some, right? Start creating tutorials, or you can leverage somebody else who already has created tutorials, and you can go ahead and, you know, get them to basically, um, you know, re-pitch or basically offer your videos to your customers, right? That's the, that's something you're gonna have to do. But 
you're going to have to create tutorials. It's very, very, very important. You cannot expect to, you know, be in business anymore and just expect to be that Joe Schmo that just, you know, goes ahead and, you know, like, oh yeah, you know, I'm just going to coast around and create a product. Listen, if nobody knows you, I'm going to say this, if nobody knows you, no one is going to flow you, right? GC says this a lot. If no one knows you, they can't flow you. If nobody knows about your product, no one can actually pitch your product. And it is very important that founders, especially the founders of the companies, are in the forefront. Here's the thing is, if Nike started today, they would need a face. Because guess what? People now identify with people more than they do with the logo, right? When you advertise, people want to see your face. They want to resonate with you and who you are as opposed to the logo and the brand. So it is very important that you kind of come to the mindset and the perspective of, you know, hey, I'm going to now uh, have to start creating content, right? Very important. If you're a blogger, you're going to have to start blogging, okay? I cannot stress this much. You're going to have to blog, right? Written content. Now, here's where it, it gets a little tricky, right? A lot of people go, okay, well, I create content, but no one's watching it. Duh, no one's going to. It's like saying, you know, I just, it's my birthday and everyone's supposed to wish me a happy birthday. It's very hard for me to wish you a happy birthday if I don't know it's your birthday. You have to understand this. You gotta live by the rule of, this is what I want you to understand something is this is, let me see if I can prove that. It's like my board is, my board is acting up here. And all my extensions up, there you go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So I want you to think about it from a perspective as this is, you're going to have to post, publish your content, okay? You're gonna to have to publish your content. And then after you publish your content, you're gonna to have to promote your content. It's like writing a book and not telling anybody about the book. You are going to have to tell people about the book. You're going to have to promote the book. It is so insane to me when people go, hey man, I just released my new product and no one's buying, or I just created this new funnel and no one's buying because nobody knows about it. Different medias of promotion is up to you, right? You can use email, cold email, email marketing. You can use advertising. But the goal of this video is how to get your content out there without actually spending money on, on, on ad spend. But you are going to have to spend money on a different area, okay? And what you're going to have to spend money on is, okay? What you're going to have to spend money on is you are going to have to spend money on, um, you can either go influencers, you can either go email influencers and say, you know, hey, can you do my favor and can you can you pitch my product? Can you do this? Can you do that? Now, if you're saying, hey, I'm going to talk about cold email in a different section, but stick in this video and I'm going to show you how to promote it as we go forward. But you're going to have to promote your content. Right? You're going to have to get somebody to share your content. You're going to have to get your friends to talk about you. People need to talk about you before they actually work with you, right? That's the way I want you to think about it. Now, the next thing as well is, and you'll be creating content, creating videos, share it on social media. Now with high level, the good thing about high level is high level makes it super easy because guess what? What you can do here with high level is you can pretty much come up here to our marketing and right here on the marketing, you can come up here and you can actually sync all of your accounts, your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok, and you can't do TikTok. Um, as of now, I believe, as of this video, you can't really sync, let me see if you can. Yeah. Oh, you can actually sync TikTok. You can actually sync TikTok and, and, and all of the, the, the social media platforms on here. You can sync it and you can go ahead and publish your content across all of these multiple platforms, okay? That's, that's not working. Uh, you can go ahead and sync across multiple platforms. The reason why is you need to be everywhere. Gone are the days where you can just have, you know, be one person. You need to be everywhere. Like the YouTube channel, we promote it on Instagram, we promote it on TikTok. Think about the Facebook, like you have to understand, this is the strategy I want you to think about. And I want you to think about the strategy from a very um, um, high level perspective. And let me go ahead and fix this here really quickly. But I want you to think about it from a high level perspective. And the perspective that I want you to look at it from is, second to pull up my, Okay, the perspective I want you to think about it is, you need to have your main hub, okay? Think about it as your main hub, right? So you can have YouTube, you can have your podcast, you can have your blogs, you can have whatever it is. And then you need to think about social media channels as your means of promoting your content, right? So Facebook is a promotional tool, not a sales tool, it's a promotional tool. Instagram is a promotional tool. It's a, sale, it's a promotional tool, not a sales tool. Um, 
TikTok is a promotional tool, not a sales tool. You need to see these tools as tools of ways in which you can promote your content. You need to see them as ways in which you can send people, send traffic to your YouTube channel, send them to your podcast, and then when they consume your content, then they buy from you. You need to pull people from somewhere to be able to send them into the main hub, right? Redirect the flow of traffic. Control the flow of traffic. That's very, 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 very important, right? Now, um, so use the free channels. Use your social media channels, right? Use your social media channel. Publish stuff out there. Put content out there. If you're like, hey, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to write. Guess what? You don't have to worry about it anymore. If you are a chat GPT user, and you can go to chat.openai.com, and you can create a free chat GPT account. And when you create a free chat GPT account, all you have to do is, I like GPT-4. Whatever you, let's say, you know, my my content is about, um, um, let's look at something, let's say trucking, for instance, right? Let's say I help people deliver, which is a very niche product, by the way. I help people deliver, um, Manufactured housing, all right? Let's look at that, all right? So, write me a Facebook post um, based on my product, which is um, helping to install and transport manufactured housing. Boom. Okay, introducing the ultimate solution from for, for, for uh, manufactured housing installation and transportation. Hey folks, where I find them? You see, it's actually writing to me a Facebook post. All you have to do is it writes the Facebook post, okay? Once it's done writing this Facebook post, what I'm going to do is pretty simple. I'm going to copy it. Just watch this, we're almost cool, you know. This is where it's gonna get better, right? Because the post has been written. I wanna keep this, 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 this module, this portion of um, the section short and to the point for you so you can understand you know where I'm coming from and how you can go ahead and implement it but one second here it's, it's right in it it's right in it okay so if you're planning to install or move your manufacturer home look no further get in touch with us today free consultation and let's make your home dream dream home a reality call us put your phone number put your website email us all right always got to have a call to action copy copy boom come here all you have to do is copy and paste just do this control C all right, go to your high level, go to social media planner. All right, and then in here, next to this, create a new post, create a new post, choose a channel. Oh, I just want to post it to Facebook. Okay, boom, let's go on to Facebook. Boom, I do a boom, and there you go. I already have a Facebook post, and all I have to do is click post, and there you go. It's published across the social media networks that I've linked up and I've hooked up with. That is the importance of content marketing. If you want to write a blog, use ChatGPT, write a blog, and post it on there. The main thing is relevance. You need to keep yourself out there and in your customer's face. If you're on YouTube, heck, you can have ChatGPT write you a YouTube video script. It doesn't matter what it is. Don't get out of your head and get out of the mental war block and actually put yourself in a position where you're actually attracting customers. This is strategy one, okay? Now make sure you sub to the channel so you know when strategy two comes in because this is gonna be a four part, four day, four part training of how you can go ahead and get your first, first SaaS customer, okay? Now, that's pretty much it, enjoy.